Elements of pop-ups has brought a lot of new possibilities when it comes to interaction and I've already shown you how to trigger pop-ups from your button in the header, but today I'm going to show you how you can trigger a pop-up from any navigation item in your website's menu. Let's dive in. Hello, I'm your host Casino. I'm a digital alchemist. And today I'm going to show you a simple way to trigger an Elementor Pro pop-up from any item in your website's navigation. Now, as mentioned in the intro, I've already shown you another tutorial on how to do that from a button in the header, but for that I was using a different process, using the power of Elementor Pro. Now in today's tutorial though, we can't really use the same process because we want to trigger the pop-ups from the navigation items and those are controlled by WordPress itself. Now this may change in the future because I've read that class-based triggers may be coming later on, so in that case it will be even easier because we may trigger a pop-up from the navigation by affecting classes to the various items of the navigation. But for the time being, here's the workaround. Okay, so this is what we are going to build today. We're on the home page and if I click on login, you can see the pop-up that I've created. And the same thing if you click on Black Friday, you can see a full screen pop-up. Now, if you've been on this channel previously, you may be wondering what's the difference between the other tutorial that said how to trigger a pop-up from the header. Well, the difference is that if we look at the previous demo, uh, for that tutorial, it was actually a button, and that button is powered by Elementor Pro. And as you may know, in Elementor Pro, you can dynamically trigger any pop-up because there's a setting for it. So that was pretty, pretty easy. Now, in today's tutorial, uh, it's different because what we want to do is to actually trigger the pop-up from uh, one of the navigation elements because the navigation is handled by WordPress and not by Elementor Pro. Now, you can create headers with Elementor Pro, but Elementor Pro, we use the navigation from WordPress. And within the WordPress menu in uh, in the admin, you can actually not dynamically trigger pop-ups because it's WordPress and not Elementor Pro. So I hope you're still following, but it will make more sense once we, uh, once we get into it. So how do we do that? Okay, so back in WordPress admin, the first thing you wanna do is go to plugins, add new. And once you're in there, you want to install Elementor Page Builder and Elementor Pro, but I've already done that. Now, the next step is to add another plugin uh, called Pop-Up Trigger URL for Elementor Pro, and I've already typed it here in the search box. So just type Pop-Up Trigger URL for Elementor Pro, and then click on Install Now. And actually, if you look at the details, this is what it says. This plugin will help you to trigger open, close, or toggle your Elementor Pro's pop-up from anywhere, even outside the Elementor's content. So basically, this plugin reveals the trigger URLs generated by Elementor Pro that are hidden by default. And it makes it easier for you to copy the URL and use it anywhere. So this is pre precisely what we're going to do, but first we need to activate the plugin. Okay, so now our plugin is activated. The next step is to actually start uh, and create a new pop-up. So go to Templates, Pop-ups. Click Add New Pop-up. And we're going to call it Pop-up Login. Click on Create Template. Okay, so as usual, we can either create one from scratch or we can use one of the templates from Elementor Pro. And this is exactly what we're going to do. So I'm just going to look for the one I've used in the demo. And it's this one. So click on insert. And here is our pop-up. So the only thing we want to do is to actually center it horizontally. So in the position section, click on center horizontally. And once you're happy with the result, just click on publish. So for the conditions, we're going to add uh, an include on the entire site condition because we're going to launch the, um, we're going to trigger the pop-up from a link anyways. So click next, we're not going to add any triggers and we're not going to add any advanced rules. So just click save and close and the pop-up is automatically being saved as we can see in the bottom left corner. So back in WordPress admin, the next thing we want to do is to actually create the link for the pop-up that we've just created. So in WordPress admin, go to templates, pop-ups, 
And as you can see here, we have a button called show URLs. We've already created one pop-up, so it's fairly easy. We know it's this one. So just click on show URLs and we're going to create the uh, open link. So just uh, copy the link with command C on a Mac or control C on a PC. And the next thing we want to do is go to appearance menus and we're going to add a custom link to the menu. So just paste the link that we've copied from the previous step and we're going to call it login. So now we can add it to the menu and make sure you save the menu. So now we're on the front end of our website. And if I click on the login navigation item, as you can see, it works perfectly and we can see the pop-up that we've just created. So let's do one more. So back in WordPress admin, now you should know the drill. So go to templates, pop-ups, then click on add new and we're going to call it pop-up BF for Black Friday. So next click on create template. And once more, we can either create one from scratch or we can use one of the Elementor Pro's templates. And you know the answer, we're going to use one of these today. So this is the one I want to use, the full screen. So click on insert and there you go. Here's our full screen pop-up. So just click on publish once you're happy with the content add condition include entire sites then click next and once again we're not going to add any triggers and we're not going to add any advanced rules so just publish then once you're happy with it we can just go back to wordpress admin and then go to templates pop-ups okay so now we want to copy the url from the black friday pop-up so it's this one so just click on show urls and once again, we are going to copy the open uh, state for the dynamic link. Okay, so next we want to go to appearance menus and we're going to add a new custom link. So paste the link you've just copied in the previous step and we're going to call it Black Friday. Add it to the menu. I'm just going to drag it between the two elements, click on save menu. And once we're happy with it, we can move to the front end. Let's click on Black Friday. And as you can see, it works perfectly. So as we've just seen, it's actually pretty easy. All you need to do is to install the uh, pop-up URL trigger for Elementor Pro. And once you create a pop-up, just copy the link to open that pop-up and then you can add it to the WordPress navigation. Now, if you're interested in purchasing Elementor Pro, you will find the link in the description of this episode. Now, to be crystal clear, this is an affiliate link, which means that I do get a commission if you purchase a license after clicking on my link. But one, I only recommend Elementor Pro because I love the product. And two, commissions actually help me support this channel and create free content. So I hope that this video showed you how to easily trigger Elementor Pro pop-ups from any navigation item on your website. Now, there are other Elementor pop-ups tutorials that you'd like me to cover. Please let me know in the comments. And by the way, you'll find the companion blog post on my website, casino.com. And of course, the direct link is in the description of this episode. Now, if you enjoyed this video, please like it as it really helps growing this channel. And if you know someone that could benefit from it, please share it now. Now, if you're not yet a subscriber, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and smash the notification bell so that you don't miss anything. Now, if you want to brand market and grow your business in the digital age, then make sure you subscribe to my email newsletter so that you never miss a share of digital alchemy, as well as tips, tools, services, and case studies that can help you grow your business online. So that's it for this episode. I hope to see you around. And in the meantime, don't forget to invest in your success.